Well, good afternoon. Um, just um, a couple thoughts going into to Alabama, first going out last night. Just incredibly proud of my team. Their fight uh, showed some real toughness last night, uh, late in the third and early in the fourth quarter and, and then into overtime. Uh, I think we scored uh, seven straight we made made shots on seven straight baskets to end the third to get it back to five after being down 14 with four something to go in the third quarter and um, and then finishing the game with two freshmen and really three sophomores on the floor it's only Andy's second year of playing so um, just to see us finish that game the way we did um, and, and with the with the youth of, of our team out there was it's just really encouraging. I told the kids last night before we we played. I said we're going to learn something about our team tonight, um, and I think we did. Good, bad, and indifferent. Uh, I think we learned a little bit about ourselves. Um, I continue to learn about this team every day. I think you look back in the game. There's a couple things that happened. One again, Maya ignites us with a steal and a layup. That uh, kind of gets us excited on the uh, on the bench and on the floor. Uh, I think obviously um, late in the third quarter, I had to. We were really struggling Garden zero, and so I put my on zero. And um, other than um, her two fouls late in the game, Maya did a tremendous job on her and um, in slowing her down. And then once Maya came out with and fouled out, we were back putting her on the free throw line again. But and obviously Rakia was special all night long. I can't remember the last time I've had a kid go 45 minutes, uh, play an entire game and overtime, and and just have the the stat line that she had: uh, 34.7 rebounds, shot it extremely well. Um, and uh, other than her turnovers, Maya had some turnovers which we've got to eliminate. Um, you know, really, really did a nice job. Joe's second half was really good, and I think it's – I just think it's really big for our team when Joe plays well. When she doesn't play well, I think our team feels that a little bit because Joe wears it sometimes. And when Joe's playing good, everybody feels that on our team, including Coach Schaefer. And uh, so I thought she played really well and bounced back after a – uh, uh, just a, a first half. She didn't even take a shot in the first half, and so I, you know, we Jordan. I have, I've got it. We've got to get her playing well, and she played well in that second half. And again, I think that was just really key for our team. So um, I'm proud of her for fighting through it through a, a night when it didn't start real well. Really proud of uh, of uh, all our team, and, and again, look look forward to a. You know, we're playing an Alabama team. Y'all could easily be nine and four, and uh, they're just—they're not—they're not—they don't—they're not out of any game. They compete. Christie's one of the great coaches in our league. Uh, does a tremendous job year in and year out. And her kids embody her. They absolutely play their guts out. And um, you know, they were down 20 at Georgia in the third quarter and came back, took that thing to overtime, and had a chance to win. And They've got a lot of games like that. And so we're going to have to figure out a way to start playing better early. <laughs> we're having a real hard time right now when the lights come on of being ready to play. And uh, that's an issue that we're going to continue to address. And uh, I'll have to coach better and teach better in that regard as well. Joe, in, in that same vein there is what Coach was talking about. Uh, first three quarters, haven't been great the last three games. Y'all been really good in the fourth quarter. What do you think's been the issue in the uh, first three quarters? I think y'all fell behind by double digits in all three games, came back in a couple of them and won them. But what's kind of been the issue uh, in your eyes? Um, I think any time, you know, we're not ready to just come out and play. It's just a lack of focus. And we just have to be better um, in the beginning, focusing and punching first. That's for my and Joe. Uh, you know, when you fell out of the game, what's your message to your teammates at that point? We need, you know you're not going to be out there any longer, but you still want to, you know, give them some of, something of what you want to take on the court. Um, as far as when I fouled out, um, I saw Mingo coming in. 
I just tried to tell her what was working at the time, what I seen, what um what I messed up on, so she wouldn't do the same thing. And um we have a lot of confidence in Mingo. Mingo brings every day in practice, so I knew she was gonna go out there and play hard and do what she needed to do for the win. So pretty much the same what Molly said, you know. Uh, my message to them was just, you know, keep it going, uh, take care of the ball, and just keep playing. Rakia, since that fourth quarter against Kentucky, really shooting the ball well, really efficient. I think it might have been 14 for 22 or something last night. Um, feel like something clicked for you after that tough start against Kentucky and you got kind of back in your zone? Um, just my shots wasn't falling against Kentucky, so I knew that I had to get in the gym and shoot with Coach for more so that I know that I will never make that mistake again. Rebounding has gone up uh, efficiency as a whole. I think you're 47% shooting. Uh, how well do you feel like you're adjusting now to, to the SEC I mean, leading the conference uh, for freshmen and scoring right now? Um, I feel like I'm adjusting pretty well. I feel like it's just my teammates helping me every day in practice and going hard and not letting up on me. So I feel like that definitely helps me in the long run. Rikia, just what Robbie was saying about your efficiency with scoring, where did you learn shot selection? Where did maybe take me through your process of what goes into your shot selection in each game? Just coming here um, in high school, you know, you, I can shoot it anywhere because I was taller than everyone. But coming here, um, you know, there's taller players, more athletic that can elevate with me. So just Coach Schaefer telling me what's a good shot, what's a bad shot, and try not to take like heavily contested shots. So I just know what works and what keeps me on the floor. So I try to do that. Anything else for players? Good job, ladies. The teams have really game plan to kind of keep y'all out of the paint and try to force y'all to shoot three pointers. Where is your confidence level in this team's three point ability, and do you see that being a factor down the stretch, or is that just kind of not their identity this year? Man, Robbie, I mean, you look at you know what we're doing shooting the ball. Um, our percentages are are pretty good. I mean, and. You know, overall in conference, we're shooting 47%. Um, I'm not that worried about three-point shooting. I mean, we have kids that can make shots out there. Um, and, and so that's just not a – that's not a first look for this team. You know, when we had Victoria and Rowe and Blair, uh, those kids could pull up and shoot it anytime they wanted to out there. Victoria crossed half court and she could. A different team. This team's different. Um, you know, we, right now my biggest worry is how we're struggling defensively. We just we're, – we're, we're really having a hard time uh, the last two games guarding. And, uh, again, that dictates sometimes who you can put on the floor, um, you know, and who you can't, you know. And when you can't put a – kid that might be able to make some, you know, threes for you out there because they can't defend, um, you know, that, that can be a little bit of an issue. I, uh, somebody said that – somebody said, well, why don't you go to zone last night? Really? With the three-pointers that they were making on me and y'all want me to go stand around in a zone and play hope you miss defense? I mean, how crazy is that? I mean, it, it just um, – you know, we've got to be better. i got to coach better and teach better. And uh, we were really good there for a while. Um, we've had a couple of little game, couple games here where we've struggled. Uh, but you got to give your opponent credit, too. I mean, Auburn's playing really well. Uh, Kentucky's playing really well. And uh, I just think when you – what our kids are learning is when you're not ready to play and another team's ready to play, this is what happens. Um, you know, I, I'm not here to air out all our laundry, but I can just tell you there's so many other things that we could do better that might translate into being ready earlier in the game and, and being prepared to play. And, and we've got to do those things too, both as players and, and coaches. And so, um, you know, it, 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 I'm not that concerned about it to answer your question. Um, I do think you got to make some shots out there every now and then. And uh, – but – those kids that can make those shots have got to play on the other end as well. 
When you think about what this team was coming into the season and where they are now, as, as a coach, do you like the word overachieved? I, I, don't, I don't know what that means. I mean, I know we have expectations here, you know. Um, overachieved, okay, so somebody in their mind thought this is what this team could do. Here's what we've done. That's, I guess that's what you're saying. You know, they were probably, if we could have been here, everybody been go, well, yeah, that's great, and they're this, and they're young, and this and this. But here they are. They're, they're here, and they're doing it. And I, I was listening to the SEC Network last night that when I got home at 2 a.m., and it's, it's, it's just an afterthought that Mississippi State is where we are. There's no, there's no thought uh, – to me, there's no um, – I don't want to say credit, but our young kids, I mean, we're so young, y'all. Our, our, ju- our junior class is basically playing in their second year of division at, at this level. My junior college transfers are playing in their first year at this level. I only have one senior. So we're a freshman, sophomore team, very talented, but, you know, we can be undisciplined. We can... We can um, be immature. We can be inconsistent so badly. And yet, here we are. We're 23-4, and 11-2 in the Southeastern Conference. Um, but that's the expectation that myself and my staff have for these kids. Um, that's the expectation we told them when we recruited them. Um, but we are so young. I don't, I don't have a senior point guard. I don't. Uh, you know, I, I don't have that. We have sophomore and freshman at point. We, and those kids are do, battling. They're competing. I mean, they're making plays in big games. Um, and, and so, have we overachieved? I, I don't know that I look at it that way. I mean, we're getting it done with young kids playing in the Southeastern Conference. And uh, I'm excited and happy for them. At the same time, I'm excited about our future. Um, but, uh, man, I'm really proud of these kids. I'm proud of what they've been able to accomplish. And, and um, is, you know, I told my staff this morning, staff meeting, we haven't had to do some of the things we're doing with this team in three years. You know, this is probably the youngest team I've had since that first recruiting class that we signed with Dominique and Katera, Chinway and Bree playing as freshmen. If you remember, y'all may not even remember that. That's basically the last time we've had to play this many young kids. And, and so uh, I couldn't be more proud of them. And, again, I just think whatever your expectation is for somebody, that's, that, that could be the end all. For us, the end all is not being second in the Southeastern Conference on February, whatever today is, or um, just getting in the NCAA term. That's not the end all for us. And, and – According to Twitter, somebody told me, according to Twitter, that isn't what everybody else thinks either. I mean, we're, we're playing our guts out last night in an overtime game with Auburn, and the sky's falling. <laughs> I mean, Auburn's good. Give them credit. They got all SEC players over there. They got a great coach. I mean, you're on the road in the Southeastern Conference. Look across the country. Uh, Auburn's men, 13th in the country. They go get beat by a non-ranked Georgia. It happens every night, y'all. So you got to be ready to play, and you got to respect your opponent. Uh, more on those expectations. I think everybody expected Rakia to be a really good player, but she's doing some really special things in the SEC as a freshman. In the, in the middle of such a big freshman class in the SEC, a lot of talented players, where do you feel like she kind of stacks up uh, with those players? I mean, to play 45 minutes in a game is pretty, pretty big, and I think second most points ever by a freshman – Last yeah. night. Well, and again, she's leading our team in scoring and rebounding right now. She's getting in the last five. She's leading us with 22.7 rebounds a game uh, in conference. She's 18 points and 5.7 rebounds, um, and she's doing it on a young team. I think that's what separates her really. When you want to start looking and comparing stats, I mean, she is she is a monster matchup problem for people. She, you can't guard her with a guard, you can't guard her with a four. And so how do you guard her? And I think that's the beauty of, of kind of what we do with her and, and um, it, it, what she's doing with this team right now. 
um, is really, to me, it sets her apart and what makes her, you know, she's having an, an all, she's having a freshman of the year, you know, season right now. And uh, she's got to be considered for, for national freshman of the year. I mean, what she's done in this league and continues to do night in and night out is, is really special. And she's just getting better and better as you, as you've seen, you, you, you look in her last five games, it's, uh, 22 points and seven rebounds a game, shooting 69 percent from, or excuse me, 77 percent from the free throw line, and um, you know in 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 conference she's shooting 44 percent from three to go with her 48 percent shooting and 73 from the line, so she's uh, she's really playing well. And last night she put us on her back. I mean she made play after play after play, offensive rebounds, stick back, um, nine of our 19 I think in overtime. So she's really playing well. Kind of going off that, Vic, um, I asked her the same similar question, but her obviously she's scoring in bunches, but in terms of the efficiency, as a freshman, have, where do you learn that? Where, where does the, the wherewithal of uh, making a good shot, you know, shot selection, yeah. especially for her age, have you seen someone comparable to that in terms of how young she is, in terms of? How efficiently she's scoring? Yeah, well, I think you know we talk about good shot versus great shot, and going and getting a great shot. Uh, I think she's still learning. I think those shots she took the first half against Kentucky were really heavily contested. Could have gotten better shots. Um, and then the second half, we got her twelve really good looks. She made seven of them. And so, um, you know, I think again part of, of that success is in a system that puts her in a position to really get some good looks. Uh, hey, look, she she missed probably two or three bunnies last night right at the cup. She just missed them. Uh, she could have easily had 36, 38, or 40. So, uh, but I, I think the kid's coachable. She has, does come in and get up shots. Um, she wants to be great. I thought last night defensively might have been her one of her better games. She was doing a great job of hedging and helping those guards when they were coming off ball screens. And so I, I thought defensively last night. And then the rebounding piece, she just – She's putting herself in a position to help us rebound a little bit more. I still think she can get 10 a night. I think she's that kind of player. And, uh, and, and then humble, goes to the press afterwards, goes over there on TV afterwards and gives her kids credit, gives her teammates credit. And, and um, so she's a special kid. And, uh, you know, I'm really proud of her. She's getting better and better every game.